It's a bit cliche, but I think I've always wanted to be a teacher. I've always really enjoyed working with children and um, it's just something that I enjoy. I think there's nothing, no better feeling than being in a classroom when a child gets something and you think, yes, like I, I was a part of that. And also, um, it's really fun as well. I don't know if that's the right thing to say, but it is, yeah, I really enjoy it. It's really fun, yeah. I've um, been a full-time mum for about the last 10 years, but also doing other jobs and um, finished my degree about 15 years ago. Always knew I was going to go into teaching, but just wanted it to be the right time for my family, really. I've worked at a secondary school for the last seven years um, as a cover supervisor and, a, and an unqualified teacher. Um, while I was completing my degree just at the road at Northampton one day a week. Um, so it's been a long old process getting to where I am, but it's one that I started out, you know, started off on seven years ago, knowing that this is where I wanted to be. So for me, this year is is like the the, the sort of final final bit for me, just to get to to exactly where I've wanted to be for for a long, long time now. My experience being a teacher is before the course nothing. Um, that's one reason why I picked the skit course is because they give you a lot of practical experience. So I found that really useful. Um, to apply to become one of the skit course, you need to do 10 days work experience in school. And I could do that working around my old job. So that's how I got onto the skit. Um, so I was fancied the idea of being a teacher, but I wanted to get some experience in the outside world first, which is why I trained as a journalist. Um, but now I felt the time was right to transfer over as a teacher. I really wanted to work with children and to sort of inspire them for the future and give them the skills that they need for the adult world. To be honest, I hadn't ever considered teaching as, as a career. I just realised that actually all my life I've been encouraging children. I used to work in Guatemala and Central America with street children and I used to teach then. I didn't realise that I was going to do it in such a formal way, but my whole life with my children as well it's really been about teaching and encouraging and for me the exciting thing about teaching is that you get to see um, somebody really grow and in my subject it's Spanish, to be able to see their confidence grow, to be able to actually experiment with the language is really exciting. It did appeal to me because I have got no experience in schools, because I've never been a teaching assistant, because I've never volunteered in schools, I needed to, my confidence isn't that good in front of children and I know that with a skit course there's a lot more work-based placements so I do know I will spend a lot of time in schools and that will prepare myself for my work life after the course. It was my second interview and I went there and I just, I, I, I remember, distinctly remember thinking I, uh, the, my training provider, Sue Bernard, was really helpful and you know, she seemed really friendly and kind of, you know, just, uh, you know, welcomed me in and I kind of thought, yeah, this is the environment that I want to be in and it seems like, yeah, you know, that was what it was and it seems to have proved off, you know, I'm still getting lots of help in my provider and, you know, training, so it doesn't seem too bad at the moment, yeah, so it's good. I was only just thinking about it and then she met me straight away and had a nice chat about it and I didn't feel any pressure but um, she was really encouraging. She also encouraged me to look for the right route for me. She said, you know, maybe you need to have a look at different routes. I didn't feel under any pressure. And then when I got to know how the programme worked, I love the fact that we're in school for the four days, but then we have Friday as our training day. Um, and there's a lot of support within that. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it was definitely the right decision. Um, and mainly because of the leadership of it, it's, it seems pretty strong and past people that have been in it, um, you know, we hear stories about them getting employed fairly soon and um, there's lots of links with the local schools which gives you encouragement really for, for getting a job at the end of this, which is what we all want. I was quite nervous the first time that I was going to go into class but my mentor has been really supportive and I've just felt quite comfortable, I've not felt pushed but I felt able to ask if there's things I'd like to do above and beyond what we've been said. It was terrifying at first, <laughs> but um, no, it, is, it was a scary day, but everyone was really welcoming, everyone was lovely. Um, I kind of had like an induction to the school, met all the staff, and um, we started teaching in our first week. But that was a, definitely an interesting moment where you think to yourself that, you know, you stood up and you've got your suit on and stuff, but you don't actually feel like a teacher yet, but then you think to yourself like, yeah, you know, 
you get in it, you do your first lesson, you think, great, I've got that one done. Then you get, a, you know, you start teaching over the week, you start teaching more lessons, and then that's it, your confidence grows and you get a lot better. And I guess um, whatever I'm going to be doing in the future, it's going to be about encouraging children to, you know, reach their full potential. And that's absolutely what teachers do. And they find those, those hidden gems in that child. It might not even be in your subject, but they find them and they just bring them to life. And that is, that is just amazing to see that happen. The kind of strength it has over maybe a PGCE course is that you have the ability to really build the relationships with a student as a as kind of normal teacher, so not a non-training teacher who's already been established in a, you know, a department for a number of years. That's what it has maybe over a PGCE, is what I think anyway. The rewards for being a teacher are actually quite amazing. Um, for me, it's when you actually see that point where they have that little look on their face where even they realise, they go, oh, it's almost like about a day ago I couldn't do that and now I can. And that is the thing and it really, and, you, and when you see it on a little child's face, it just means more than anything. And it really makes me feel quite emotional. It's just wonderful. I mean, there's so many just interesting characters in every single child and they have their own stories to tell and they have their own opinions. And it's amazing seeing the differences and what their minds are creating and coming up with. And I think I'm just absolutely loving being, yeah, working with the children, so. Even over a lesson, you start at the beginning and I, I was teaching English last week and I was introducing a new topic and by the end of the lesson they were kind of confident in what they were doing and um, we covered it over the week and they could still bring up what they'd learned from the first lesson. So I think it's just seeing them progress, noticing that difference. I think it, that, that satisfaction when, you, um, when you've spent so long planning um, the night before for a lesson and you're really excited and you're really passionate about it. The ideas, the imagination, the creativity that comes out in them is just amazing and to think that you you sparked that off um, is probably the most rewarding thing I think. It's a fully comprehensive programme, I think it covers um, everything, it covers, I mean, you're, you're in the classroom straight away and although some people will be thinking oh gosh that's that's really scary. Well it is, but it is if you put it off anyway. So it's always going to be scary that first time. And actually doing it from the beginning, I think is, is the best idea. Also you're fully supported. So you're not left on your own until such a time that you feel confident. And then the mentor normally, because you're covering their lessons or you know somebody else's, that there's somebody available for you just literally outside the classroom door. If you want them to stay, they're, they're in the classroom. Um, and then the Friday training, it really just perfectly complements what you've been doing those four days. Um, so yeah, I absolutely would recommend it because it, it's a year's course and I, I don't know how you could get such a fully comprehensive view of teaching and an experience like that. Um, I, I just think it's amazing that we can do all this in a year and, and get our QTS. I definitely recommend um, recommend program. I think all the tutors and the mentors have all had lots of experience with um, teaching and working with trainees. They're all really supportive. The schools that I've been into so far have both been, I've absolutely loved my experience there. So, and I think we get um, time in lots of different schools as well, so it's quite a wide experience. If you want to be in school a lot and learn by being on the job almost, it's the best thing to do. Um, because there, there is a lot of time spent in school, so you get to put into practice what you, you're doing all the time. So, and I think that's the best way to learn is by doing something. So that's why I chose to do it this way. I really would recommend it. It is very challenging. It's very independent. Having had a year's life experience, if you will, after university, I think I was able to come at this with a certain level of maturity that you need for this course. Um, and I think this course, I mean, it's brilliant for those who who are changing career as well. I think that, that, so, that serves a really great purpose because it is very independent. As much as you do have that support, they're available. They're not reminding you of deadlines. They're not reminding you of this and that. It is up to you to get your work done. Um, be aware it's very hard work, but as long as you know that, then yeah, get your application in. For people like me who've had really little experience in a school setting, I would definitely promote the Pilgrim Partnership. Um, it's building my confidence, it's steering me in the right direction. You feel that it's very professional, that's the one thing about it. I just feel when someone walks in front of you um, and they say, I am doctor, 
and then say their name and you go okay we've got someone that really knows what they're talking about and, and some of the people that come to talk to you they've had papers published they say I'm in this book and I've written a few articles in that you just know that you're in the hands of really really great people so academically and um, practically it is a really great course. The people at Centre are all so lovely they will make you feel totally at ease and you can definitely go to them if you have any problems it's hard work but the hard work pays off and um, getting to spend the time in such lovely schools as well has been great so yeah I definitely recommend it to anybody it's a great way to go <laughs>